Did you actually even talk to Mr. Hackett or did you just leave a message? Well, what's the difference? This, this is the difference. He doesn't check his voicemail. How was I supposed to know that? I mean, clearly there's somebody here. Yeah, or it's just an abandoned car and this is a complete waste Why of time. Why would there be an abandoned... I'll leave yeah. the car. Max, come on. Max, don't be a dick. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Hey, you ready to roll? I don't know, you just said tools. Why didn't you just bring... Look, there's someone in there. Um, I'm not seeing anyone. What? No, look. I'm looking, I am. Let me see. There, there was definitely someone there. Okay, okay, so... You sure? Yeah, saw it online. Damn. <laughs> you need a hand? Yeah. You've seen the evil dead. You've seen the evil dead, right? Hello? Are you hurt? Do you exist? Hey, be careful. Maybe it was a possum or something. No, there was there was someone here, I swear. Hey, it's been kind of a night, you know? Let's just get to the motel. We can come back here first thing in the morning. We can check everything out, but... I mean, you must be exhausted. I know I am. I think our imagination... <laughs> This 
blood. Help. I think I'm bleeding a lot. Hearts are broken on the last day of summer camp. It's like a romance apocalypse. Hmm. I mean, you never know. The universe has a kind of way of uh, working these things out. The universe? Yeah, like the uh, the cosmic space gods. Space gods. You heard me. Okay, spell it. It's nothing to spell. You know, we're cool. Oh, so cool. We are super cool. <gasps> so she dumped her ass, huh? Hi, Emma. Hey. <laughs> okay, this is, um... You've heard of spatial awareness before, yeah. right? Spatial awareness is for nerds. Uh, be a lamb and grab the last couple of bags, will ya? Yes, boss. Say hi to Emma for me. You're a bad person. Yes, I am. I wonder what's killing the deer. Oh, hey, this is Emma's. Ah, fuck! Ah, fuck you, you spider fuck! Ha! Eat it.
Hey, what are you uh what are you listening to? Before they knew it, the fault was up in the front. Good to know. Jesus Christ. Hey. Hey, are you guys gonna help with the bags or what? Oh, um, you know, I was actually just working on fixing uh the door. It's Dylan, come it's on. It's broken. Dylan, please. I can't. It's, it's... I gotta get the last bags What's in there. Come wrong on. with this thing? It's just Dylan, frozen. please. It's Sorry, bro. Cool. Thanks, guys. Man. Who'd want to leave a place like this? It's like a goddamn Bob Ross. Skill. <sighs> Ugh. Horror. I hate horror. <sighs> Man, that's a bad place to get stuck. This place needs a serious overhaul. Oh. Jesus. Is that you, Dylan? I can only deal with one shit at a time, Jacob. Okay, really, dude? Locking me out? Okay, in my defense, A, it was Dylan's idea, and... Two, it was really funny. Oh, yeah, right. Is that is that right? I don't write the rules, man. Okay, whatever. Look, are you gonna help me with the bags or what? Nah, I gotta stay here and wait for Mr. H to return our cell phone. Sorry. Jesus Christ. Okay, and why are the stairs blocked? Well, apparently it's to keep raccoons and other pesky varmints from ransacking the place. Uh, Mr. H's words, not mine. Oh! Boring! All right, got the bags. Great, all by yourself, huh? Yep. Guess you're gonna have to get used to that. Oh my God, you are so mean. <laughs> At least I'm honest. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, you're not telling me the whole truth about you and Emma, are you, son? Okay, I'm gonna need you to back all the way out of my business, Caitlin. <laughs> well, excuse me for trying to help. How is making me feel shitty about being dumped supposed to help? Aha, uh -huh, the plot thickens. She took out the trash. What? No. I, mm, wait, check that. First, she cleaned the house. Then, she took out the trash. Then, she washed her hands. Bye-bye, Jake. Now, she's a trash of single, clean hands, ready to mingle. Are you, are you finished? <laughs> oh, I could go all day. Yeah, no thanks. Man, you're starting to bum me out, Jake. Well, I... Yeah, you know, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're one sorry motherfucker, ain't ya? Okay, well, at least I went for it this summer. Uh, what's that supposed to mean? Uh, Ryan. Uh, what about him? He's a guy at this camp who just happens to have this whole hot, sexy loner thing that totally doesn't do anything for me at all. Oh, and the plot thickens. <sighs> so she really just dumped you just like that? <sighs> well, technically no, but, you know, she realized that she has her plans... And, um, I have my plans, and it wasn't gonna work after today, you know? And today's already over, isn't it? And you didn't want to try, like, long distance or whatever? <laughs> Man, she has got you wrapped all the way around that cute little finger of hers. <laughs> no, but, I mean, seriously, come on, she's right. It's just like a 
stupid summer fling. What else did I think was going to happen? Uh, let's see. Uh, love, stability, engagement, marriage, house, kid, affair, kid, divorce, loneliness, child support, visitation lawsuit, mm. surprise reconciliation, emptiness, retirement, grandkid, 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 a uh, nursing home, and finally, dying in each other's arms and then being buried in each other's arms like those thousand-year-old skeletons they dug up in Rome or something. That kind of in the ballpark? Oh, shit, I'm sorry. That was Ryan and me. Uh, let me see. Ah, here it is. Yours just says Roadhead. Oh, actually, that's just a generic all-men list. Oh, well, that seems legit. <laughs> Okay, so are we sure that this old rust bucket's roadworthy? <laughs> we'll take a look. It better be. One more night in the great outdoors might actually kill me. Hey, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Well, I haven't killed you yet. And you're still pretty pathetic. Hey, shut up. <clears throat> uh, okay, so, um... Total hypothetical, but if I was like a huge asshole and I wanted to break down the van so we'd have to spend another night here, uh, what exactly would I need to do? Well, you'd probably break the fuel line or, I don't know, rip out the rotor arm. And yes, that would make you a total asshole. Okay, and what does a rotor arm look like again? It's like an arm that's all rotary. You know, it's under the little black dome with the leads poking out. Jake. You do realize that even if we somehow did get stuck out here, one more night with Emma wouldn't make a difference. Trust me, Chick's made up her mind. Yeah. Sure. Guess we'll just have to find out. <sighs> oh, this looks important. I will hook you right back up tomorrow, okay? Pinky promise. Up here, my dudes. Why do they look like they're up to something? Hey, Jacob. What? No, dude, please, d don't, Go don't. Along. Oh, Nick! <clears throat> oh, come on, man! I'm so sorry, Jacob. <sighs> Rough. Hey, maybe uh, you should have put it in airplane mode. <laughs> Shit. What's up, man? Shut the fuck up. Oh, yeah, no, no doubt, no, no doubt. No. God damn, my mom's gonna kill me. Your mom? Oh, yeah, to, uh, to tell her I say hi. <laughs> I'll pay to fix it as soon as we're back, man. Well, it's bricked. Crap. Thank God. Huh. Not a peep. Either got zero signal, everybody's already forgotten I exist. Meh. 50, you know what? 50. Whatever. I can go one more day without a phone. Day? The drive's not that far. You know what I mean. Where's everybody else? Why why would I know that? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you know stuff I don't. Look, I don't I don't even know how to respond to that. You say Nick. You're way smarter than me, and you're a super hot stud who gets any chick he wants. Okay, yeah. Keep dreaming, Junior. Hey there, party bear. Status report? We are officially empty nesters. High five up top. Oh, too slow. Really? Oh boy. You're about to get your phone back, aren't you? Let's go collect our bags and away from this mosquito-infested backwoods dump. Doors locked, bags inside. <sighs> Fuck me. Yep. Well, it's obvious what we have to do here. 
Find someone with a key? Shape our destiny. And by shape our destiny, I mean shape our way through this crappy lock and grab our bags. Are you serious? That's called breaking and entering. No, that's called retrieving our lawfully owned possessions. Why don't we just find Mr. Hackett and have him open it back up? Abby, come on. Our stuff is like three feet away. Mm, sorry. No. As soon as we get back to the lodge, we'll find Mr. Hackett and have him help us get our bags. Fine. I'm, uh... Okay, well... Well, fine. I'm just gonna do a quick sweep then to make sure we didn't forget anything. Knock yourself out. Hey! You stop <gasps> that! <gasps> Gonna be weird not waking up to Dylan's morning announcements. Hmm. Dylan is not gonna be happy that the kitchen is this year. <laughs> I'll tell Chris about it when we see him. Anyone knock Caitlin out of first place all summer. Ready to roll? Let's do it. Finally. Time to let loose and vamoose this caboose. How are you so dramatic? Annoying. Confident. It's just acting. It's what the people want. So you're faking it? I mean, in a way, faking it is just being yourself, but louder. You should try it sometime. You never know who you might impress. No, <laughs> It's too late now anyway. For what? You and Nick? You never know unless you put yourself out there. Uh, oh! Eyes on the road, lady. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, so, hypothetically, if I were to put myself out there, what if he ends up being a dud, kind of like you and Jacob? He's actually really sweet. Then why'd you quit it? Summer fling. We're going to school, like, four states away. I, he gets it. Yeah, sure. But, that's us. You and Nick could be different. When do you get his handle? Hit him up. Oh, I already have his email. It was in the packet they gave to us on the first day. Email? Are you 93? What's wrong with email? I'm really gonna miss you, Abby. Oh, hold up! Oh, uh, but the lodge is that way. Go right here. Why? Come on, scenic route? One last victory lap around the camp? We should really get back. Boo. Thumbs down. I've, everyone's waiting for us. Nick isn't gonna leave without saying goodbye. Shit, Abby! <gasps> Did I hit it? Did I hit it? Oh, Emma. It's still live. That does not look good. What do I do? it out of its misery. Uh, and I can't. Abby, it's suffering. No. No, I'm, I'm, I can't. I can't.
would have been cruel not to. Don't worry, Jacob. I got you. I got a full tank of gas, so... Oh, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, idiot. <laughs> Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? Hey, there's no signal out here anyways, dude, okay? This place is like patchy as balls. <sighs> Your balls are patchy? What? No. <laughs> it's okay. I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go. And... Uh, you. <sighs> Hey, Nick. Hey, where were you guys? <gasps> Wouldn't you like to know? Ignore her, please. Let's go. Where are your bags? Mr. H locked them in the cabin already. <laughs> why, to keep out bears? Apparently. Well, why didn't you just break in? Okay, because Dylan thinks that would have been a good idea. That confirms we did the right thing. Oof. Ow. I like my ideas. Hey, has anyone seen Ryan? Oh yeah, he's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. What were you doing under there? Having a little me party? Uh, I was listening to a podcast, actually. Oh. Podcast. Nice. That's cool. What's it about? Yeah, what's it about? Is it about me? You think I was listening to a podcast about you? Okay, if anyone here had a podcast about them, it'd be me. Yeah, if there was a podcast called How to Look and Smell Like a Butt. Oh my god, you are so childish. At least I don't look and smell like a butt. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a paranormal podcast. This episode was actually about this place, weirdly enough. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. The who of the what's it where now? What's the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? You don't know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? Uh, if I did, would I be asking them ass? Tell her about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I don't think she wants to know about the Hag of Hackett's <laughs> Quarry. Oh, can we just please stop saying the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? It's just this campfire story for the kids. It's, um, they're supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back. She haunts the woods looking for her lost baby boy. There are like reports of whispers or whatever, and, and this figure that floats around, you know, textbook ghost stuff. Some people say that if she catches you alone, she'll try to turn you into her son or kill you or something. I don't know, it's never really been clear. Anyways. Haga Haggett's Corey. You made that up. It's right here in the podcast, man. Cool story, bro. Seriously, though, you should have seen the first time you told the story to the kids at the campfire. They were scarred for life. I mean, not for <laughs> life. You gotta be careful with this stuff, man. This shit's true. Come on, dude, bullshit. What's the holdup, Hacketeers? Yeah, uh, uh, nearly done, Mr. H. Well, up to it. Get those butts in gear. Coulda woulda if our bags weren't locked up. What's that? Sounded like you said, of course, Mr. H. We're on it, Mr. H. Sorry, Mr. Hackett, but our, our bags... Right. Cabin. <laughs> We're really busting our butts here. Well, except Ryan, who's trying to scare the pants off our butts with his weird ghost stories. Okay. Okay. Enough with all the butts. And... and... What's this about ghost the stories? Age of H's Q. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I was just... Oh, for Pete's sake, Ryan. Hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Well, yes, I do. But you know, I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. Yo, Mr. H. What's up, DJ Dylan? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. Cool, cool, yeah. No worries. Good man. Uh, no big deal. You can share my earbuds. <laughs> 